now. Welcome to this week's edition of Living Your Hope Live. That's right. It's another New Year's Eve bash number two. This is our second one. Jerry? I got a line for that. Jerry Cross? My co- my ho- my co- my co- my host co- my co-host. <laughs> there's, there's only two of us, so there's... there's yeah. How many could there be? So, uh, co-host. your impression of this last year, it was a lot of work. We put out 50 shows this year. Every one of them had gags. Every one of them had some truth. What do you think? Well, the truth was good. The gags, I'm not sure about. But I don't know how we came up with... With at least five minute segments for fifty shows, I didn't. I didn't know that's what we did. Was this the year of March? Was the COVID thing when everything caved in? That was the year ago. This. this oh, was the, so I lost. Um, when you get old, you lost uh, lose track. COVID of time. causes you to lose your memory. Exa- huh? And you're hearing too. Huh? <laughs> and let me tell you something. I don't know how we pulled this off, but the year went pretty quick. But I think for two of us to be working in a studio that's four feet by five feet. I think we did uh, some good stuff, you know. That's just pretty small. Yes. Well, you know what? We're going to jump right in. We've got some uh, great comedy bits for you tonight. So sit back and enjoy this. Hey now. Hey now. We wish you weren't here for Christmas. We wish you weren't here for Christmas. We wish you weren't here for Christmas. How did you get here? Good riddance we sing to you and your kin. We wish you weren't here for Christmas. Don't come back here again. You remember Matt Leering. If not from this program, then from the church singles group. Tonight's question, will Matt Leering ever find true love? Welcome back to the program, Matt. We're so glad to have you back again. We wanted to check in with you and uh, see how things are going for you. Have you found the love of your life yet? Well, no, not really, but I'm still playing the field, just having the time of my life. And you know, footloose and fancy free, baby. Hey, baby, I didn't know angels flew this low. Hey, is your name Faith? Because you're the substance of things I hope for. So, hey, is it a sin that you stole my heart? Baby, you're like a car accident because I just can't look away. (laughs) Matt, tell us about your prospects right now. Well, you know, I might not have a job and I might be living at home in my parents' basement, but you know what? I'm storing up treasure in heaven and I'm going to have a... One heck of a pad up there, baby. You know, I'm no photographer, but I can picture us together. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Hey, baby, on a scale of North Korea to America, how free are you tonight? Hey, I know milk does a body good, but you must own a cow. (laughs) Do women find you attractive? Well, let me tell you this, baby. If I had a dollar for every woman that found me unattractive, they would eventually find me attractive. Do you believe in love at first sight or should I pass by you again? Well, here I am. What are your other two wishes? (laughs) I'd say God bless you, but it looks like he already did. Hey, what? Were you talking to me? No? What would you like to? One more question for you. Do you go to church solely to pick up on women? You must be kidding, because let me tell you something. When I go to church, my thoughts, my heart, are pure and honorable. And if I'm lying, let me be struck by lightning. man you trust with the information you need. It's KROS News with I, Cheatham. Good evening, I'm I, Cheatham with KROS News. What if we told you there was a hamster who has been trading cryptocurrency since June and recently was doing better than Warren Buffett and the S&P 500? Meet Mr. Gox, a hamster who works out of what is possibly the most high-tech hamster cage in the world. 
It's designed so that when Mr. Gox runs on the hamster wheel, he can select among dozens of cryptocurrencies. Then, deciding between two tunnels, he chooses whether to buy or sell. His decisions are then sent over to a real trading platform. His portfolio is up nearly 20% since he started trading in June. And as of September, Mr. Gox was performing better than the NASDAQ 100, Warren Buffett, and the S&P 500. In related news, using the exact same technology, Johnny the Gerbil has thrown his hat into the ring for the 2024 presidential race. His decision-making paradigm is outperforming the current administration and he is trending far higher in the popularity and approval polls. I'm I Cheatham with KROS News. Stay tuned and reload. Welcome to Growing Your Perspective, where we look at the issues that matter to you. A sad fact of history is that many of the world's greatest artists were never recognized or appreciated in their own lifetime. Artists like Rembrandt and Van Gogh died penniless and destitute. Growing Your Perspective has set out to find and recognize some of the great talent that's happening unnoticed in our own world today. Frank has located just such an artist. While this man makes a living from his work, he's almost unknown outside of a very small circle. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you artist extraordinaire, Pablo Pistachio. Hey, Pablo. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Wow, so me. glad you could be here. I like your hat. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's, a, it's, <laughs> it's, it's called a beanie. Oh, I'm sorry. In yeah. the art world, it's called a beanie. A beanie. I got it from Andy Warhol. Really? Yes. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, so tell me, what is your uh, preferred medium uh, of art? Well, I uh, have charcoal, pens, whatever I can get my hands on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A can of spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> really, really. So, um, yeah, that's, 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 that's art. Okay, let's have a look at uh, maybe some of your art here. Okay, what, uh, what I want to show you here is the, my best of. Uh, these are my police outline body sketches. Uh, Sidebar. Oh. Sidebar art. Oh, these are my best sketches of uh, at, the, at the crime scene. Oh, I, I thought you did uh, other types of art as well. Yes. Uh, well, I am very versatile in my field. I uh, uh -huh. I'm also a courtroom sketch artist. Oh wow, that takes, a, takes lot a lot of talent. It's very difficult oh. to capture. Oh, Frank says we have some of those we can put up. Let's put one up. And you can describe it to us. Uh, yes. Who is uh, this? This one is a. Uh, a man, a very intense court case, he uh, sued Budweiser because he married uh, a woman at closing time and he didn't know what he was going to get. And so it was... Oh, oh, okay, Here, here's another one. Yes, this woman with a very intense case, she sued herself for violating her own civil rights. Oh. That's, uh, very, I remember that case. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, okay, here, next one. Yes, this was a uh, groundbreaking. Uh, uh, this woman sued uh, the uh, producers of the Brady Bunch for using her name, Marsha, 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 which was her name. Wow. Uh, uh, oh, wow. Okay. What? Well, let's. All right. Show me another one. And this one uh, is a woman who sued her law professor for waking her up in the middle of her nap. Well, okay, Pablo. I, I got to tell you, no I, I, I appreciate that you make a living doing this, but. Honestly, I've seen a lot better art than that. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm not sure that you're exactly what well, we were looking a, for. It, uh, art is a man's name, and uh, uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Let me okay, do something. Okay, well, I'm, I'm wearing my glasses, so me, I think uh, I saw it. It just uh, didn't look me, that, I don't know, it didn't look that amazing. Souvenir. Here's a little souvenir. There's a portrait of you. There's a of me. Of you. Yes. That's, uh, you that's know what? My get friends. out! Just get out! I want you out of here! Don't you push me like that. You almost broke my... I'll be drawing you in court. Yeah, okay. Get out, Frank! I'll be in court, Frank!
Oh, yeah, it's just the most beautiful time of the year, baby. You know what I mean? I feel it. I feel it. I, I, it's, I feel it in my heart. I, I hope it's a feeling. It could be, could be heartburn. I don't know. Yeah, come on, everybody. Go ahead and sing it with us with this one. Come on, let's have some fun. I love this season. I really do. I'll be homeless for Christmas in this economy. Come on, everybody, everybody. Yeah, you feel it? Yeah, I got, I'm broke too, you know. Good evening, I'm I. Cheatham with Spotlight on Entertainment. We've got a very special guest for you tonight. We have a very special show. Matt Leering, remember, he was here with us before. He's landed an explosive role in Hollywood, recently discovered at Miracle Pictures. Their motto is, if you're entertained, it's a miracle. But they found him, they discovered him, and he's recently playing James Bondo in a movie titled Forever. It's too long for never. I just can't believe I'm very happy for his success, and he can't be here because he's filming the movie in Hollywood. But we do have a live feed. We're going to go to him and see if he can speak with us and uh, give us a heads up of what's going on. Hey, there you go. Matt, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, uh, I just have to ask you, how the heck did you land this role? <laughs> Well, I gotta tell you, I put my picture in a trade paper in the Hollywood Reporter. The next day I got the job. And I gotta tell you, this is gonna be the greatest blockbuster this ever made. Interesting. Make the other James Bond uh, movies look like part-time nurses. Well, this is I don't know what they, what they say. I think the, 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 the picture should speak for itself, but do you happen to have a clip, something we can see about what's going on, what's behind this movie? Of course I brought a clip. You're gonna you love do. this. Where do you oh, see this? Where do you ahead, see it? Well, uh, what a scene. To tell you the truth, uh, Matt, I didn't see you in the picture. All I saw was a series of explosions. So, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see you. Uh, I didn't there. see uh, you acting. I didn't. Didn't you see that well, second? I, how, do you, how do you explain that? The second explosion. That? that car. I was right behind it. I, that was oh. better before I got made to get away. Okay. I was right there. It was. It was well. Yeah, but it's uh, uh, great acting. Now I understand you have a, a new leading lady that's uh, that's that's part of this picture. Yeah. Oh, what do you really? see? Right. What, what, what's her name? Uh, Lorna Doom. Lorna Doom. Lorna Doom. Yeah, great actress. I don't think I've ever heard of her. Newcomer. Just, just, hey, everybody Lorna loves Doom. <laughs> just a real beauty. I, I don't know who she is, but but but. Oh, oh you oh you have a clip with her? Yes. Uh, you know. Okay. Well. Explosive scene with her. Uh, uh, romantic. Let's check that out. Romantic scene. Ready? Right? Check it out. All I'm seeing is a series of explosions and car wrecks and, and, and I, what's going on? I don't see any acting. I didn't even see her. You saw her. What? She's a beauty. What do you she mean? Was, what do you mean? Great, great at, we have look. explosive uh, hey. scenes together. That okay, was, look, that look, was, look. Frank, you did it again, man. You, it was available. How do you get these? What, what was about? that all that was, about? That was, that was, I've seen more action in a Porky Pig cartoon. What? What are you talking about? He that was great acting. Again. So, Matt, how much time is left on the picture? Are you wrapping things up there, or what's 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 about to happen? Yeah, we're almost done. In fact, well, I we can't wait to see this movie. <laughs> sure, but you can't. Nobody this can. Be great. Just but I, I got to get back to the set right now. We're going to do the final scene. It's it's an explosive ending. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. Good evening, I'm I. Cheatham with KROS News. This just in, a massive explosion has rocked Miracle Pictures in Hollywood. Matt Leering, starring as James Bondo, is currently unaccounted for. More on this story at 11. The 
only man you trust with the information you need. It's KROS News with I, Cheatham. Good evening. I'm I, Cheatham with KROS News. A slice of cake from Princess Diana and Prince Charles' 1981 wedding has been auctioned off for over $2,500. Private collector Jerry Layton from Leeds, England purchased the slice through Dominic Winter Auctioneers and has graciously allowed us to have the slice here with us today for all our viewers to see. The slice of cake weighs about 28 ounces and was preserved inside plastic wrap and a cake tin for the last four decades. The slice comes from one of the 23 official cakes that were made for the wedding, and although it's 40 years old, its collectability is undeniable. The late Princess Diana and Prince Charles were married at St. Paul's Cathedral in London on July 29, 1981. Now the cake slice is right here, but I gotta tell you, it was made by eight of the most distinguished bakers in all of the United Kingdom, with ingredients shipped in from all over the world. And even though it's here, 40 years old, I can still smell the aroma of fresh baked goods. It smells like a freshly baked cake, and it's right here. Just seeing this cake takes me back to the day of that wedding in 1981. What are you doing? What? Hey, are you crazy? What are you talking about? That's the Princess Di cake. That's a real thing. That's you, you're having a $2,500 snack? I thought it was a prop. The, the, this company can't afford this. What are you me. doing? You're kidding me. But I can't believe you. Hey, it still tastes great. It tastes oh, like it's fresh. I. It tastes as fresh. Come on. It's just baked. Can't it's you just... control yourself? I was tempted. What do you want? I'm weak. Welcome to Living Your Hope in the Lobby. We meet locally here in Tucson at 7333 East 22nd Street. We gather Wednesday nights at 6.30 p.m. to watch the Living Your Hope Live program. We eat together, we pray together, we fellowship, we connect with one another. If you're local to Tucson, you're welcome to join us. If you're not local, feel free to use this program as a content platform and start a small group of your own. We also have services at the same location at Living Hope Family Church on Sunday morning at 10.30. Hope lives here. <laughs> this is a great comedy special. It's yeah. killing me, man. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Anyways, so you're probably your most used character on this show is the guy I cheat him. Oh, man. So, you know, I know actors, they go deep into their parts. They sometimes get lost in their parts. Sometimes part of them comes out yes. in their character. So describe for our audience tonight uh, maybe three words that, in your mind, describe I cheat him. Well, as a thespian, can I say that word? I thought you were a dictionarian. <laughs> but, you know, three words to describe I cheat him as my alter ego. Because you know why? He's a complete idiot. He never gets anything <laughs> right. He's always... Wait a minute. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe that's not so much of an alter ego. Yeah. I just like his hairdo. That's about it. That's the only thing I like about it. He him. does have some killer hair, doesn't he? He does. Better than this, right? Right. Yeah. I don't. I should get to wear a wig for this show. Yeah, I should get you one. Well, you know what? I cheat him. Speaking of which, our first bit here in the second half is Guy cheat him. This is his dad. His dad. That's right. There's I and Guy. So here you go. Care OS News. Guy cheat him. Here you go. <laughs> This is in 3D. 3D! Yeah, looks looks like another full news day there, Ralph. Hey, uh, Libya, they finally made a peace treaty with Italy. About time, I've been wondering when that was going to happen. Hey, check this out. There's a new comedy coming on the air. With Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. I love Lucy. I wonder how that's going to work out. They're going to premiere this Friday. Have Mr. Cheatham, a package has arrived for you. What? A package? I'm not picking. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, it's, it's from the estate of H.G. Wells. It says it's a time machine. A mini time machine. Hey, what's this? Some kind of a gag? <laughs> hey, look how it lights up. That's, uh, that's pretty interesting. That uh, Hey, what's going on? I'm in the studio, but it's not the same studio, and all this stuff looks so modern. I... Must have worked. The news, the news, the news headlines. It's the news in 2021. I get to see what takes place in 2021. I want to go back. I want to go back. Take me back to 1951. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here in 2020. Take me back. Take me back. I want to go back. I want to live. I want to live again. Guy, what's wrong with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. You know what? I just had the weirdest dream. Hey, Frank, there's a pretty strong aroma of Old Spice in here. Uh, you know, my dad used to splash that on all the time, man. It was his only cologne. Welcome to Through the Bible with Brother Dudley. Now here's international Bible scholar and world-class auctioneer, Brother Dudley. Hello and welcome to my first installment of Through the Bible with Brother Dudley. What we're going to do is we're going to do a study today in the book of Leviticus. Levit Levit Leviticus. Leviticus. It's really a tough chapter. A lot of people have trouble with it because there's so much to it. But, uh, you know, just open up your ears and believe God will speak to you as we uh, read through it. What we're going to do is start in chapter 1. So if you have your Bibles ready uh, with you in Leviticus. Levitic, Levi, Leviticus. Levit, what? what he said the the first chapter and we're going to go through uh wolf till the very end <laughs> ready so here we go well 
I hope you enjoyed our study today. And I hope that God spoke to you uh, through his word, because that's, that's how he deals with us. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Word of God, word of God, word of God. This has been Through the Bible with Brother Dudley. God bless you. Good evening, I'm I Cheetah with KROS News with a new segment, Eye on America. Recently, the Cheetahs took a vacation to Florida, and here we share our vacation with you. Here we are on the road. Here's some more road. Here we are stopping to pick up a hitchhiker. Here we are hitchhiking. Here we are arriving at the Everglades. Here we are at Get a Guide, getting a guide. Here's our guide, Guido. Here's Guido guiding us around a bed of quicksand. Here's Guido's hat. Here comes the rescue party. Here's a bunch of hats. Now we're at the wrestling alligator exhibit. And here's the winner, an 800-pound alligator named Monstro. Here we are arriving at Mount Rushmore. Here I am arguing with my wife, who told me that Mount Rushmore is a natural rock formation. Aye! Aye! What's all the matter? The, all the slides are blank! What are you telling me? That nobody saw anything that we just presented? Well, yeah, these, these are some the of the greatest pictures! In. The greatest vacation pictures ever! I just did the same like and you. nobody saw anything? Why I'm, can't I, you ever get why anything can't you, right? You're, you're the Hey Siri, how's it going? I'm happy to be here. Me too. Hey, can I ask you some questions? Ask away. Thanks. Isn't it annoying when engineering students call themselves engineers? Hmm. You don't hear medical students calling themselves doctors or art students calling themselves waiters. Wait a second. If you win three games of Twister in a row, are you automatically a yoga instructor? Sure. Why do Americans choose from just two people to run for president and 50 for Miss America? Interesting. Why doesn't Tarzan have a beard? One sec. Life doesn't hand me lemons. It fires them at me rapidly from a lemon cannon. I'm sorry. I'm in a lot of long distance relationships. Well, technically they're called restraining orders. If my kids call guacamole avocado spread, have I failed as a parent? Absolutely. How is it that one careless match can start a forest fire, but it takes a whole box to start a campfire? I don't know. If you lend somebody $20 and never see that person again, is it probably worth it? Hmm. I've been feeling kind of lazy lately. I'm sorry. I'm sure there's a supplement I could take or another easy solution to cure my laziness, could you look into that for me? If you insist. My dentist told me I need a crown. Finally, someone who understands me. Gosh. I intend to live forever. So far, so good. Hey. Hey, Siri, tell me a joke. Why did the meatballs tell the spaghetti to go to sleep? Why? It was pasta bedtime. <laughs> I'm Italian. That was funny. Thanks. I'm here all week. <laughs> Want another one? <laughs> yeah, why not? What did the green grape say to the purple grape? What? Stop holding your breath. <laughs> my all-time favorite song, baby, brings tears to my eyes, just like when I get home from the gym and take off my tennis shoes. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains 
And the mountains in reply Echoing their joyous strings Gloria In excess is gay Water, somebody might have a heart attack here, baby. The following comments do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of KROS News. To ensure the integrity of the content, unbeknownst to Mr. Cheatham, we have attached a lie detector to his chair that delivers a mild shock if it detects deception. Good evening. I'm I Cheatham with the KROS News Editorial about morality in America. I love working here at KROS News. I love the people here. I have been married 27 years and have remained faithful to my wonderful bride. I attend a fine church every Sunday. And give of my income with great joy. My family is the model American family. <laughs> My life is an open book. <laughs> I have nothing to hide. <laughs> now, if every person in America modeled their life after mine, America would return to her greatness. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. Welcome to the Tough Love Line with Joni Tolyasso. Joni scored very low on her empathy scores, so she's able to tell you exactly what you need to hear. Let's join Joni now as she goes to the phone and takes your calls. Welcome to the Tough Love Line. This is Joni. How is being at a singles bar different from going to the circus? Well, at the circus, the clowns don't talk. Welcome to the Tough Love Line. This is Joni. Do I think we should get rid of democracy? I don't know. Maybe we should vote on it. <coughs> Welcome to the Tough Love Line. This is Joni. What do you call a woman who knows where her husband is every night? A widow. Welcome to the Tough Love Line. This is Joni. Oh, this is serious. How would I define stalking? Okay, it's when two people go for a long, romantic walk together, but only one of them knows it. <laughs> Be careful of your thoughts. They may become words at any moment. The grass may be greener on the other side, but at least you don't have to mow it. This has been Tough Love Line with Joni Tolyasso. Thanks for calling. Well, Jerry, do you think we have another year in us? <laughs> like the planet? <laughs> like, I think we have a good You think we'll outlive the planet? Of, a chance of, I'm really hoping Jesus comes back before we finish 50 more episodes of this show. 
But uh, I'm in for another year, are you? I, I got no choice. You know, as yeah, long as the true. heart's beating and we got this venue, I mean, you know, music and gags and fun. You know, other people are just running around. Uh, uh, Jesus, I think his hand is in this somehow. I mean, I think he enjoys what we're doing here. A couple of bozos just having a good time living for Jesus and, and putting this stuff out. I mean, I, 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 I've been I, called worse. It, I love doing it. Today, you know, it's a blast. I was called worse. So. And, and if I hadn't been saved, I wouldn't have had this opportunity if I hadn't run back into Joe. And here we are having the time of our lives. Jozo. Jozo. Well, I hope you guys are having a, a good time too. Well, we're going to go ahead and pray and uh, just ask God's grace over the next year. Would you join us in prayer? Lord, we are so grateful for all that you have put into our lives, God. I believe we are going to see unprecedented revival in this coming year. We ask, Lord, that you would let us be a part of what you're doing. We ask that as you um, would anoint this show, God, use it to touch people's hearts and lives, to save souls. God, we give you all the glory and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. So there is one more thing. There's one more. We call it outtakes. Oh, man. My favorite part of the show. I think we probably have more outtakes than we do of entire Outtakes of kind, of shows. kind of bring the audience in behind the curtain and let them see the pain that we go through to make this show. Yes. So, A ladies and outtakes. gentlemen, thank you so much. Happy New Year. Outtakes. <laughs> So tell me, what it is, <laughs> what it is, the real is, death. It's moving all right. <laughs> okay, shut up. Ow. I cracked what? my skull. Yeah. He Hello, my sickle. baby. Hello, oh. my honey. Hello, my right time. Okay. <laughs> How about, the, how about Afghanistan? Do a live show in Afghanistan. They'll love you. They'll love you there. It's you not a bad idea. Are you at a crossroads looking for direction in life? Help is here. Call Coach for Life to speak with Life Coach Dr. G. Reaper. Help with your career, relationships, finance, time management, and more. Call today, Coach for Life. Ready? Go. Hey, what's going on? It's the studio. It's the studio. And has graciously allowed it. Graciously allowed us. Well, see, I got it all down when you didn't have it on. Uh, well, why'd you start? Yeah. Good evening. <laughs> I got it mixed up. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Dominic Winter Auctioneers and has graciously, has graciously, like Walter Brennan. <laughs> You're going to, going to make you a real church goer. It's awful, man. What am my voice is changing? Let's just take it from the top. What the heck? I was tempted. I couldn't help it. It's sitting right there. I was tempted. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Matt Cheatham. <laughs> I don't know who I am. <laughs> Matt Leering, starring in Forever is Too Long Forever. <laughs> Good night. Good evening. <laughs> has rocked the set of the latest James Bondo movie. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I, uh, okay, I'm, well then, then... Let me just do this. Let me I'm just, wearing my glasses. Let me just do a quick... Uh-huh. There you go. There's a little souvenir, a little present for you, a personal sketch of you. Okay. You know what? You need to get out of here. Just get, get out of here. Just out. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> When you held that up. Do 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 do. Okay, we're ready. Yeah. Using the exact same technology, Johnny the Gerbil. 
gerbil. I don't know. What is it? A gerbil or gerbil? gerbil. It's a gerbil or gerbil. If I had a dollar. If I had a do if I had a dollar, go ahead. <laughs> Let me be struck by lightning. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, Orion. <gasps> In excess is Hello, testing one, two, three. Good evening, I'm I Cheatham with a new segment called I on Enter. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, the Cheatham's took a vacation to Florida. And here are the results. Here are the results. <laughs> here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you're, doing you're doing it again. You did it again. <laughs> Come here. What were you doing? Were you laughing at the, <laughs> the bit? Beautiful thing, but it was a beautiful segment. Nobody's seeing anything. Right. I, I can't believe this. Days. I'm done with this, man. I'm I'm so tired you keep this up, it. and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be finished with this. But I, 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 I'm I'm the one that's supposed to get this right. What are you talking about? Money back. Right. <laughs> okay. Ready? Ready. Hey, now, welcome to. What? Nothing. I was looking at the. Hey now, welcome to another New Year's Eve bash. We've done more than one. Yes, we have. We've done more than one. This is the second one. Hey now.